Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. You know, cheese is most definitely life, and with the aroma of it in my car right now, it's only confirming that fact for me, guys. This is looking really, really nice. So basically what this is is a large oversized flour tortilla that's filled with Birria-style shredded beef, grated cheddar cheese, and a tangy green sauce. All right, let me pull up a piece of this and we'll get this going, and wow, lots of cheesy action with this one. Feast your eyes on it, guys. No shortage of cheddar cheese, a lovely combination of goodness, very warm, and a little bit of that shredded beef action that you can see in there as well. Mmm. Mm. So much cheese. Love it. A little uh, freak nasty, of course. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Here we go. Take a look at that action right there. Very, very nice. Let's confirm this goodness for you. Mmm. Wow. Yes, sir. It's the return of a true fast food icon to the menu over here at KFC after nine plus years. That's right, everyone. The Double Down is finally back on the menu for a limited time only. And of course, I've got it for you here on the channel. Well, let me just start this shot off by saying, KFC, why did you wait nine plus years to bring this one back to the menu? This is seriously a delicious situation. Mmm. Ooh. Do this spicy. Wow. All right, so for the last bite, let me go for a little bit more of that sauce because you knew I'm going to, right? Let me go for a little bit here. Hopefully I can get a little bit extra. I think that'll do very nicely. There we go. That's the shot right there. Mm. Yeah, this thing looks to be packing a very nice punch of goodness with this one, guys. As you can see, plenty of mac and cheese on this one and that smoked brisket, that tender action. I can't wait to get into that along with the beans and the onion rings. Let's not waste any more time. Guys, it's the brisket burrito over here at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Pasadena, California. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Oh. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Very moist, very wet on that brisket. You can really tell this thing has been marinating for a while. It's very tender, and that's gotta be a lovely situation with everything here. So let me pour a little of that on there, right there in the middle. A very lovely situation, guys. This is very gluttonous, and it's working out beautifully on a semi-rainy day here in Southern Cali. Let's keep peeping this out. Mmm, come on, come on. But guys, for $10.95, it's sizable, it's tasty, and it's got plenty of flavor across the board, and the mac and cheese is all throughout. This is just a lovely situation. So it looks like the official wings of the Los Angeles Lakers, courtesy of Wingstop, have got a brand new flavor as we stretch further into the fall season. And guys, considering the aroma in my car right now, let's just say I'm thinking this all new maple sriracha action is gonna be pretty tasty. Definitely they've got the fall theme in effect with this one, guys, but a maple flavor, definitely something brand new over here for Wingstop, and I can't wait to see how that's gonna combine. Mm. Oh. Very sweet. That maple is strong. And it's super sticky, and that's not a bad thing because considering all the nooks and crannies on the coating itself, guys, it's really hugging everything beautifully. All right, let me pick up some of this ranch and we'll go for it. As always, little freak nasty. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Take a look at that action right there. Plenty of that ranch. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Oh. I never knew I would like the combination of maple syrup, ranch, and some heat with the sriracha. Yeah, you gotta love the good looks with this one. My senses are on overload right now. So guys, very simply what you're looking at here is an eight piece order of their oven baked pizza dough breadsticks that are stuffed with pepperoni and cheese. And then it's topped off with a mozzarella and cheddar blend along with a touch of Parmesan and garlic. A very lovely situation, like I said. In the presentation department, my senses are on overload. The aroma is just banging. So let me pick up a piece of this right now. I've got a piece that's pre-cut here and wow, this is hot. Take a look at that action, guys. Plenty of cheese on the top, plenty of cheese on the inside. We've got a nice little layer of pepperoni in there as well. Mm. Thick, toasty, buttery, mm. cheesy. Come on, you already know. Let's go for another one. I might as well knock this piece out with you. They're not too big, but guys, a little goes a long way, actually. This is, I'm, I think I'm pretty much gonna be good after this one, but very tasty. And again, the toastiness of the pizza dough, the breadstick action is beautiful. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Plenty of cheese. Wow. 
Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the countdown that you're currently watching here right now. I thought I would jump in at the halfway point to say I hope you guys are digging what you're seeing so far and make sure you hit the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorites were throughout the year as well. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and get yourself set up for 2024. There's brand new content every single week, multiple times, along with live streaming Fridays at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So without further ado, let's get back to it, guys. This is the final five. Here we go. Yes, sir, I think all you bacon lovers out there are gonna to be totally down for this, guys, because the presentation is pretty killer. Take a look at that goodness on the very top, melted with the cheese. Everything is looking pretty awesome on this. Mmm, loaded with steak, too. This is one of the best-made grilled cheese burritos I've had yet. Really nice. Guys, it's very gluttonous, very tasty. Plenty of bacon, plenty of cheese, a lot of filling on this as well. Wow, guys, I gotta say, I am totally digging the amount of cheese on this right now. Just take a look at this action. I think this is gonna be nice. Can only imagine the saltiness of that bacon, which there's plenty of, as you can see here, along with the cheese. Let's try it with some Diablo sauce. Hmm. Well, it's everything Taco Bell does extremely well over here with the addition of a nice amount of bacon and, of course, that three cheese blend on the very top of this one, guys. And again, with all the goodness on the inside, you have a lot to look forward to with this one, especially if you're down with their grilled marinated steak because that is a lovely situation, guys. Just overall, something delicious to go in on over here at Taco Bell, of course, and I'd highly recommend you do so. All hail the return of the king, baby. That's right. The pretzel crust pizza is finally back on the menu over here at Little Caesars. And I'm checking out the stuffed crust variant. I mean, I'm a cheese aficionado, and this one is just screaming to be stuffed in the back like that. So very excited to get into this one, and I'm very glad that it's back already, just in the presentation of it alone. So let me pick up one of these slices, and we'll get it going. And oh yeah, I had to go with this slice that actually has some of that stuffed crust action bleeding out the very back of this already, guys. But as you can see, a lovely situation of cheesy goodness on the inside of this one. Let's give this a go. Right away. Oh, it's the only way to get this. Guys, this is really super delicious. Definitely something I'm gonna be getting again already. Very lovely, very lovely indeed. Let's go for a couple more bites. The crust is banging, as you'd expect, right? I mean, come on. Mmm, man, that cheese makes it in the back though, it really does, it sets it off. Yes sir, fresh hot pizza on a rainy day, a definite treat for sure, but when you consider all that cheesiness in the back of the crust, just take a look at how puffed up that is guys, this is looking pretty fantastic. So again, it's nice and rainy here today, I can't wait to give this a go, let me pull up a slice and we'll get it going. And guys, right off the break, I pulled up a big one here, look at that, we've got some melted cheese, there's some ricotta cheese that's in there as well and all the cheesy goodness right there on the front, the sausage. This is looking very, very nice. And again, look at that massive bit of calzone-like action in the very back with that ricotta cheese and the mozzarella. Let's get into it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's pretty tasty, man. Ooh. And like always, a little freak nasty action. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Take a look at that. A little bit of garlic goodness in the very back. Let's give this cheesy calzone a shot with the garlic. Here we go. Oh. 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 You know it's heaven, right? Mmm. So after a successful test market in a few select areas around the country, we've got the honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich, looking pretty tasty. Let's pop the top of this toasted buttery bun and take a look underneath, and right away you're gonna notice a very solid amount of pimento cheese, looking very nice in that portion department. Well, I'm not expecting those little baby jalapenos to deliver too much to the sandwich, guys. It's all about the pimento action and the honey drizzle on top of that classic chicken filet. A very lovely situation indeed. And I'm so thankful that I've got a little chicken sandwich diaper just to be on the safe side with that pimento cheese action. There's a lot of it on here. Mmm. Oh. Ho oh. ho. This is pretty tasty, guys. And I guess, how could it not be? I mean, you're starting off with that base chicken filet that they're known for over here at Chick-fil-A, guys. I mean, it's legendary for a reason. So the combination of all the other ingredients in this one, and again, it's just those three main ones. Very, very delicious, and it's a nice upgrade to a classic menu favorite over here at Chick-fil-A. A pretty banging situation. Well, to say this thing is loaded would be the absolute understatement of the year, guys. And when it comes to the latest promo over here at Wendy's, let's just say I am completely excited to get into this variation of their all-new loaded nacho goodness. And in this case, for the review, it's going to be the loaded nacho triple cheeseburger. Let's pop the top of this jalapeno cheddar bun and take a look underneath. And it looks like already there's no shortage of spicy chipotle sauce. And as we pan on down, 
We've got a nice fat slice of tomato, which I'm gonna try to avoid, along with a slice of leaf lettuce. But guys, underneath it, a combination of poblano queso, crispy corn and tortilla strips. Let's not forget, we've got American cheese that's separating three quarters of a pound of beef. Three fresh, never frozen beef patties, guys. A lovely situation. Lots of protein, lots of cheese. This is looking really, really insane. Mmm. Oh, lots of cheese, lots of beef. I hope you guys are not watching this after hours because if you are, please accept my humble apologies. This is absolutely worth your time if you've got Wendy's in the area. Beefy. Where's the beef? It's right here, baby. Really, really awesome across the board in flavor. And the fresh, never frozen beef with all that cheese is an amazing situation. Run, do not walk to give this one a shot in this form. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, there's no way that could have failed unless they absolutely messed up on preparing it in some particular fashion, guys. If they missed an ingredient or two or just it wasn't fresh. Guys, everything across the board was fresh with that. And the rating that you're seeing on the screen here right now justifies everything that I talked about up to this point. Very delicious. And I got to say easily, not only is it one of the cheesiest burgers out there, if not the cheesiest out of all the fast food chains, it's one of my all-time favorites right now, especially this year. That is a banging situation. Definitely give that one a go. Three patties, baby. Three patties. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty.